What's up, everybody? Caleb, okay. okay, you had an eventful night um, on Saturday. Uh, you know, before we get to your fight, we just want to give us your thoughts on, on the situation that you had out there. Man, you were just enjoying the fight, and yeah. uh, something happened. You know, some kind of bra or something. Yeah, per usual. You know, I'm just out my, with my wife, just me and my wife trying to enjoy the fights. And you know, I feel like I'm in this, a weird position now where it's like I'm a big name, but I've also lost two fights against generational talents like Canelo and Benavidez and so I think people want to fight me in hopes that if they beat me that you know they can get in some type of position but there's a certain way to go about it and a certain way not to and you know him coming up pressing me getting all up my face you know a guy gets in between us to kind of like um, try to defuse the situation and he's like pressing toward, through him trying to get to me trying to get to me and you know eventually I'm like yo back up can't let a man just keep walking me down in a you know aggressive manner and then he starts acting crazy trying to run to me y'all seen the video uh, and you know the cellos held the you homies, down the homies weren't with that so yeah happened, um, happened. are you tired of that man, man you just wanna... yeah it's so old like because i'm not just a fighter a boxer but i'm a boxing fan you know i'm a fan of people like Errol Spence, you know, I'm a fan of people like Terrence Crawford, I'm a fan of, of, of Usyk and all these other, you know, great fighters, I'm a fan of them, I know how hard it is to get to that level and what it takes to get to that level, and again, you know, it's not like I'm just out with my homies, it's me and my wife, and so I wish that people would just go about it the right way, if you want to fight, win fights, put yourself in position, and, you know, get put in the rankings. Until then, you know, if you want to come up and be competitive and talk shit, you know, I'm all for that too. I'm the same guy. We can do all that. But once you start pressing me and really trying to become me aggressive like you want to fight, well, a man has got a right to defend himself. And I guarantee you that I will. This fight on September 14th, do you think that's the kind of fight that could put you back in the mix to get a possibly a Canelo rematch that brings you or anything of that nature? Uh, right now, I'm just focused on the fight in front of me. You know, Trevor, he's 28, no 21 knockouts. This is his moment. This is his chance. And so I need to put all my effort and my energy into that. With that being said, you know, I feel like, especially now with us getting moved to the Canelo card, you know, it could spark those conversations for, re for a rematch. And as you all know, you know, I'm not just in it to get a payday. I'm not just here to come and quit, get my check and bounce. Like, I'm coming to fight. That's what I love to do. I love to fight. And so, you know, I be good to get that opportunity but right now you know that's not the, the focus i need to focus on what's Be, being in the main events always cool but now being switched up to the canelo card obviously uh, are you happy with that yeah i mean you know being a main event on the first amazon uh or prime video that wasn't a tough pay-per-view would have been an honor obviously but it don't matter where they put me you know they can put me in the parking lot we can box it don't matter <laughs> to me so i'm just uh you know but i'm excited to be part of a big event and I'm gonna say, my, you know, when I get up there, I've been away for a minute, but I promise you guys, I've been using my time wisely. And uh, come the 14th, you guys will see the best kept plan yet. Carmelo Berlanga, the main event. What do you think about it? Um, I mean, I think, uh, you know, Canelo will probably go out there and do his thing. What yeah. did you think? What did you think about Terrence Crawford and Montreal? How did you support it? You know, it was a little lackluster in comparison to what I thought it was going to be or maybe what a lot of us thought it was going to be. But I thought Terrence won. I thought he um, it was a close fight, but with him pulling out the rounds uh, in, the, in the latter half of the fight, and especially the 11th, 12th round, I thought he for sure, you know, without a doubt, secured the victory. And, um, you know, that guy's got a tough style. But, you know, today in today's boxing, it's like a popularity contest. If you don't have the most followers or – you know, something like that, people think you're a bum, and that's just not the case. So even with that guy not being like a superstar, he's got over 300 wins in the amateurs. You know, that guy's a killer. He's a monster. And um, so, you know, I was happy for Terrence to be able to move up to a new weight class and secure another big fight like that. And, you know, I'm happy for everything he's got going. I'm in full support of him. You also got Laura and Garcia on the card, Danny Garcia on the card. What do you think about that fight? I think that's a great matchup. But Danny's my guy. You know, I got a lot of fam in Philly. And, um, but Laura's my guy too, and I've been knowing, so I'm just excited, you know, get in there, let the bell ring, roll the dice, and see where the chips fall. So I'm happy for both those guys, even at this stage in the career, still getting big fights. Like, uh, I'm happy for them. Did you mention that? the relationship between you and Canelo? You, you guys had an interesting press conference here in Beverly Hills, and then you seem to have finished in good terms after the fight. Yeah, yeah, you know, um, at the press conference, you know, people get competitive, they talk, but um, when he pushed me, 
real hard, you know, obviously that pissed me off. I'm a fighter, so I'm sure even a lot of you with the cameras, if somebody come up and shove you that hard, you're going to come back at them, you know, and so, um, but we settled it. We settled it, you know, even after the fight in the ring, he apologized and, you know, we shook hands and we did it like real men. That's what it's about. So, um, you know, there's still a like, uh, competitive tension between us, I'm sure, at least on my part there is. Um, but at the same time, you know, he respects me and I respect him. And as long as we can, you know, keep our hands ourselves or in our pockets, I'll do the same. Caleb, with the talks you've had with PBC, is Jamal Charlo next for you? I don't know. I don't know. Not right now. No, nothing's next for me right now. Right now, my man, what's next for me is September 14th against Trevor McCombie, and that's where my focus lies. And uh, nothing happens without getting my hand raised in that fight. And so I'm not really focused on future fights or what's next for me. You know, that's a good question, but as of now, you know, I don't know. I How would you assess the current state of 168 for yourself specifically, yeah. considering you already fought the two top guys? Yeah, I mean, I feel like I'm in a great spot, and on top of that, I feel like the super middleweight division is hot. A lot, a lot of names being flo uh, floated around, and, uh, you know, it's a prime, prime time to be a super middleweight, so. You say you're a fan of boxing. Um, how, how'd you, uh, how would you like to be part of the Real season? They had the first international uh, tournament, I mean, uh, event here in L.A. How would you like to be part of a Real season in the future? Oh, uh, yeah, they put on a great event. Uh, Turkey did a great job. Me and my wife had a lot of fun. I'm sure a lot of y'all can uh, guess that I'm a big Eminem fan, especially as a kid, you know, coming from the trailer and just everything, you know, my life. I'm like, man, this dude knows exactly what I'm going through. So um, he, he's been a big inspiration for me and let me know when I was a kid, like, man, if he can be a part of rap and be that good and be who he is, then I can be who I am and I can be big in boxing, you know? So, um, but I'm with PBC, you know, I'm, uh, I'm with Al, I'm with Luis, and right now we're handling business. And, making great things happen right here. What's your favorite you song of Eminem? What's your favorite song of uh, I like his older stuff, you know? Um, but there's too many to choose from. Too many to choose from. Well, so what would it take from to walk you out? you out one of these days. <laughs> what would it take for him to walk you out? Huh? You see what would it take for him to walk you out? Probably a big bag of money. <laughs> but, um, yeah, hats off to uh, Marshall, you know. Uh, I've been happy to see him be a part of the boxing culture and the people bringing him in and him walking out. Terrence has been cool. I, I even told Terrence, I was like, man, I promise I'll never ask you for anything again. But when he fought uh, Bud, like the day before, I hit him up. I was like, man, just let him and them know, like, I'm a big fan, blah, blah. And I, I'm not the type of guy to do that, but I, I'm like, yo, that's my chance. And he's like, yo, I talked to, I talked to um, Eminem. He said he knows who you are and he's a big fan of you. I'm like, have you got a chance to meet him on Saturday? No, not yet. At the fight, I was like, from me to you, I was out his dresser, uh, the locker room, but, you know, it wasn't my time. It was Terrence's time, and he went in there. You know, it wasn't my moment. That, that was the moment, so I let him know. Caleb, uh, how, how, do you, oh, how, Sean, do you more. how do you size up Trevor McGumby? What have you seen from him when you've watched his fights? Have you watched his fights, and what do you think of him? Yeah, I've seen some tape, and, uh, you know, he's a spunky guy. Uh, this is his moment, you know, but it's his first and his last moment. Thank you. Thank you.